Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. For an after hours event. It is. So we have come along to this nighttime event. Um, we've done it before. Um, so it was really good. So I will put a link in above if you want to see our video from the last yeah. time we did an after hours event. Um, it basically, you just get the whole park to yourself. And it's the only way to kind of guarantee that you can get onto Pandora. Pandora without having to wait. Uh, I checked the minute the right the wait time earlier. It was like 165 minutes. That's like nearly three hours. That's that's a long wait. That's a long wait. I didn't like that waiting that long. No, we didn't. We didn't do that. Yeah. I mean, because we um, were only able to book fast passes 30 days in advance, yeah. that is practically impossible to get. Um, flight of passage so we thought we'd book this event and then voila we'll be able to do it and you get free mickey ice cream sandwiches at coco evening that is true you do get that as well so let's get the night started to the world of Pandora. Our oh, Joe stuffed his face. It's so dark. Pandora. <laughs> You're so bright. <laughs> like fluorescent. Wow. It is crazy. You can't beat Pandora at night. I don't know. It's just, it is like it literally is like, a whole other world. Yeah. It's amazing. You don't feel like you're on her. No. It feels like you're um in Pandora. I, mm. You are so lucky that you can't be seen at the moment stuff in your face. I can't help it. <laughs> I told you I've set myself a chuckle. I need to eat more. Them three snicky sandwiches. Snicky sandwiches? <laughs> it is amazing, look at that. It's just. And you can actually see the floor because it's not crowded. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Look at it. Especially with the moon there. It's pretty. He's so pretty. Real. It's like Joe has no upper body. <laughs> oh, there's stuff on my top as well. Oh, fluff. It's like fluff. Look you look. got fluff. I can feel it on my face as well. But this is that water thing, isn't it? It squirts water. Yeah. <laughs> Be aware. It's fits. Wow. Look, it's on the like. Uh. There's so much. In that like UV. Yeah, it's yeah. like UV paint on the floor, and then they got UV lights. Spoiler. What is this UV red? It's ultraviolet light. It's the purple light. See. Yeah, but that is UV red light. Red. Yeah. I mean, look at the detail. Like, these are like the plants. Look, it's crazy. The detail is amazing. It's the bottom half of Joe. Hey. <laughs> Can I see your bottom half? <laughs> the bottom half of Joe. So we are coming up to Pandora. That's my favourite girl. So cool. Right. Let's go ride Flight of Passage for the first time tonight. First time this holiday, actually. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It has been raining. We had a thunderstorm about an hour before. Now we're in some natural light. There's Joe. Thank you. Oh, it's fresh as well. Never actually queued for this. Normally, we've never gone through the normal queue. We've always done fast pass, or we've done it on events like this. So we have missed out because, like, there's a lot to see in the queue. So. One day, I might face the uh, three hour wait. Yeah. It... Got a little kid. I've not seen any. No. This is not all you want. Never done it. Hello. Hello. Thank you. I don't know if you've gone this side before. Here we go. First time this holiday. Okay, start scan. You've all got them. <laughs> but don't it's worry, in parasites. Uh, they're very common around these parts. File uh, Let's start the decon. Initiating GMR decon. Stay still over your number, you're not going to feel a thing. <laughs> you're doing great. All done here. They're all clear. Great. Okay, so we've made it out, we're now at the entrance, <laughs> and we are going back in! Let's do this again! Number two. So, second time round. <laughs> Whenever I'm on it, I always wonder what my reaction is because I feel like I'm just constantly smiling at everything. So I might film my reaction on this so you can see and so I can see what I'm actually doing when I'm on this ride. I reckon I'm just there like a sort of grin on my face. Like, but yeah, let's see.
so pretty. So we've ridden it twice. We're gonna go and try some other rides and then come back and ride it a few more times. I'm in love with Pandora, I think. It's so much better at night. It's so much better at night. I, I could quite happily not do Pandora during the day. That time when we were in here in September. Oh, and it was scorching. <laughs> Not a lot of shaded paper. No. Not a lot of shops to go in and things like that, is there? It's Drums. The drums. Go on, Joe. Bang the drum. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Feet. So, we've done Pandora. Pandora? We've done Fight Passage yeah. twice so far. And now we're going to go and do Navi River Journey. Wow. Well While we're here. Ten minute wait time. It's a miracle. Look at how pretty all the colours. a Christmas tree. I think you see that every time you walk down here. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. It's Pandora's version of a Christmas tree. It's so lovely. So yeah, RV River Journey. Oh, dark, you can't see me. Here we go. So, RV River Journey. Here we go. <laughs> We've never actually queued for Navi either, no, you're right. Imagine queuing and all that. No, thank you. Asia. Did you know me have popcorn in Asia? <laughs> <laughs> Do they know that Joe likes to eat popcorn in Asia? This is silver popcorn. I love silver popcorn. 
Anyone who knows me knows I like sweet popcorn. I prefer sweet popcorn. Do you know what? I, I can't eat sweet popcorn. I don't know. I can't have <laughs> I've just demolished a whole box. In like five minutes. Yeah. As well as a Mickey sandwich. Mm -hmm. Joe likes his food. Let's see him revisit that food as we do Everest. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if I'm ready for Everest. What I was just saying to Joe, but not on camera was that the crowds, compared to last time, are more busier. There's a lot more people than when we did it last time. Isn't that right, Joseph? Mm. Yeah. So there's more people this time yeah. around. Yeah, a few more. Not crazy crazy. No, it's not crazy crazy, but yeah, a few more people. Last time you literally felt like you were the only person I in the park. I recommend doing this. Yeah, definitely. I do. Definitely. Yeah. Right, come on then. Let's do Everest. Mm -hmm. 37. Tea. Tea. <laughs> Ooh, scary face. So, every time I go on Everest, I always come off feeling a little bit shaken up. A bit, sometimes a bit queasy. You do. Jay, you're always fine with it, but I always do feel a little bit queasy. So I'm hoping I'm gonna break a ritual tonight and I'm not gonna feel ill after. No. Let's see. Everest. I felt sick. Joe did, I did Everest it, again. I did it twice. I did it on my own. And then I got Mickey, Mickey sandwiches and then popcorn. And I can't help it because, yeah. Sorry. Um, and now we're, going on, <laughs> now we're going on dinosaur. Right, you some popcorn. No, I'm okay. You sure? I'm sure. I've got plenty. I'm fine for popcorn. I'm going to get another box before we leave. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so we're going to do the dinosaur. Uh, we got about an hour left. Uh, the plan is dinosaur and then head back over to Pandora to do Flight of Passage again. This is a banger. It is. <laughs> Donald's Dino Bash is rocking. Uh, but you'll see that in a bit when we come out of dinosaur. Oh, look at the singer over here. <laughs> dinosaur. There's always one, isn't there? Why you? It had to be you. He's a nightmare. I reckon there's gonna be a giant dinosaur skeleton in here. 
Oh wow, yeah, I was right. <laughs> you massive. I just love how empty it is. <laughs> director of the Dino Institute, and I hope you enjoyed those quaint exhibits in the old wing. That's how dinosaurs have been presented to the public since the study of fossils began over 150 years ago. Today that bare bones approach is about to become extinct. In a perfect blending of science and technology, the Dino Institute has created the Time Rover, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's right, but the result is a breathtaking journey through a prehistoric world. Yeah, hello there. Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you and how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. <laughs> So, dinosaur. We're not gonna make it! We're not gonna make it! Oh, we made it. <laughs> oh, bit of a disco. Donald Dino Bash. I don't know the words. I think that was <laughs> yeah. See, that would be real. Are you getting any more snacks? Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna get? Everything I possibly can. What did you just do? I wiped my hands on the table because there's no sinks. So that and it's been raining. It's just rain water. It's clean. <laughs> <laughs> you are so random. <gasps> yeah. So, uh, oh. popcorn. You can get a box and I'll get a box. For, for the record, can I just note, huh? you've not had any alcohol. No. This is just you. Yeah, this is just me. On ice cream. <laughs> and, <laughs> and sugar. Sugar. Discovery Island. Need to go meet Mickey Minnie. This is Disco Very Island. Disco Very Island. Okay. <laughs> She thought you was crazy. No. Yeah. Let's meet Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> hey, Minnie. <laughs> hey, Minnie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. What? I didn't hear you. What does it mean? What, Hakuna Matata? Yeah. It means no worries. Right. Back to Pandora. There's literally like nobody here now. 
empty. Empty? Oh, Joe's lost his body again. That's all I can see. Crazy. I think they need another ride in here though. They need another ride. They need another ride. Yeah. Here it is. So for one last time. One more time. One more time. Let's do Flight of Passage. One last time. It's 11.45. I'm on my fourth half in This might be the last time we do it. For a long time. Ooh, we're going up this time. You can see the screen. So it's just seven and eight, and there's just us. <laughs> oh, hello. hello. <laughs> okay, Dr. Stevens, they're ready. It's just us. Can everyone see me? It's just me and uh, you. Yeah, just me and you. Yeah, I can Great. see you. Welcome to the Avatar oh, program. Thanks for having me. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi ride of passage. I can't wait. Flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron. Or a what? Call Banshee. Oh, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an avatar. Right. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. Okay. But first, we have to like, scan you for Pandora and microparasites. Is he just constantly on like... Alright everyone, stay yeah. on your nose on the scan. Uh, you've all got them. Just me and him. <laughs> but don't worry, uh, they're very common around these parts. I'm not common. Uh, let's start the decon. Initiating uh, GMR decon. Stay still over your number. You're not going to feel a thing. Oh, crap. You're doing great. All done, They're all clear. Great. Yay. You're all clear. Now let's go over how all this works. Okay. Like I said before, you're going to be matched to these things called avatars, which look a lot like the Na'vi. They're okay. created by blending human DNA and Na'vi DNA. Is that legal? Once we match you to an avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that avatar. Right. Using avatars to fly this way was all figured out by my boss, Dr. Jackie Ogden. Check she leads our science team, which is part of the Pandora <laughs> Conservation Initiative, and we're here in the Valley of Moara studying banshees and their environment. Yeah. Over a generation ago, this enormous company called the RDA created a lot of damage to the area through their bad mining practices and conflicts with the Navi. Just like on Earth, it can take decades for ecosystems to recover. Or as we call it, a banshee. A banshee. To the Navi, connecting a a banshee. to an Ikran and flying on its back is an incredibly <laughs> important rite of passage they call Ikni Maya. With permission weird, from the like Navi no and in here. partnership with Alpha Centauri Expeditions, we can now bring this amazing experience to you. You'll experience the breathtaking beauty of Pandora, but That's you might great. also face some of its greatest yeah. challenges.
There you have it. Never fails. Love that ride. Amazing. And that was it for the last time. We've we've done it a few times, yeah. Yeah, you usually just do the fast pass. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Definitely worth it. It really is dead. Literally. Bury his soul. Pretty much just us. Just me and Joseph. Left in Pandora. It's quarter past twelve. One last look at Pandora by night. Look at that. It's amazing. Wait, is there anyone actually even here? <laughs> it's empty. Does everyone know what an empty world of Pandora looks like? This is it. It's... Dead. It's all dead. What are you doing, Joe? I know, it's crazy. And then it ends. And you are back in Animal Kingdom. Ta da! Yeah, it's pretty much an empty park. Apart from, long apart long from long. cast members. Good night, Animal Kingdom. You've been a blast. There he is. Come on. <laughs> this isn't the outtakes. So there you go. That was our Animal Kingdom after hours, after hours event. All done. Um, well worth the money. Yeah, definitely. Just good fun. And the park's empty. The park's dead. So if you're thinking about doing it, we'd recommend I'd it. I'd recommend it massively. Joe would recommend it for the popcorn and the popcorn and ice cream and cake. snacks and yeah. Uh, but that's it so hope you enjoyed it if you did yeah. then give it the thumbs up um, and make sure you subscribe so you can see future videos from us but for now it's adios for me cheerio bye, bye.